They are at the prison. Who are they? They've already arrived. But no, but the written press here probably has that better than anybody. I don't know. I mean, you need to find somebody with a tell. I'm Pat Roberts. I'm the executive vice president of Florida Broadcasters. But uh, Dobson will be here. And uh, uh, as I'm sure you're aware at this point, Ted Bundy. As I'm sure you're aware at this point, Ted Bundy met with uh, Dr. James Dobson from 2:30 to 3:30 today, and did tape a one-on-one -on -one interview. Uh, I can't comment on the contents of that interview. It's my understanding that uh, Dr. Dobson intends to stop over here in a few minutes, so, and I'm sure he'll be glad to discuss something of that with you. Uh, right now, Bunny's with his attorneys. He's being served for supper tonight a meal of a burrito, rice, and salad. This evening's schedule includes a legal visit with five attorneys from 8 to 10 p.m., a social visit from 10 to midnight with James Boone, John Tanner, Marsha Tanner, and a Methodist minister from Gainesville. His name is Fred Lawrence. Who's James Boone? James Boone is listed on the visiting list as a friend. Fred Morris? Is that Carol's son? Fred Lawrence is the minister. Is that Carol I don't know. Uh, there will be a final contact visit from midnight to 1 a.m. with John and Marsha Tanner and James Boone. Can you tell us what his mood is now? Excuse me? His mood? The hour that I saw him during the interview, uh, he was quiet most of the time. He seemed a little depressed at times. Can you identify yourself, please, sir? I'm Bob McMaster with the Department of Corrections. Any word from the Supreme Court? I have not heard anything. The Department has not been notified of any change in the warrant. Everything is still set for 7 a.m. tomorrow. When I talk to Colorado, As things stand at this time, uh, there is a three-hour period that I haven't accounted for here from 5 to 8 p.m. I can't tell you what's going to take place at that time. We don't have anything scheduled right now. Bob, when he talked... Not to me. I don't know anything about that. Bob, did he talk to Colorado today? And if so, for how long? I can't update you any more than I did earlier today as far as law enforcement visits are concerned. There was a uh, tight schedule with the interviews and so forth. Do you know if he has any more confessions today? I don't know. I can't comment on that anymore. Do you mean you cannot because, uh, or that you don't know? As far as, <laughs> as, well, both. Let's put it this way. Could you explain Bob? yourself? Uh, we're, not, we're not in the position of commenting as far as any discussions with other agencies that are investigating crimes. It'll be up to those agencies to release information on what they uh, ascertain. Bob, Bob when, you, when you say that he seems to be depressed, I think that's a big part of it. He's speaking to Mike. It appeared to me that he realizes that uh, uh, there's only a few hours left. Can you repeat that? Uh, what you that? It appeared to me that he realizes that there's only a few hours left between now and 7 a.m. tomorrow, and he realizes the finality of the situation. Do you think you're emotional? Somewhat. How so? Oh, yes. Yes. Did he, is he crying? Or? Oh, he bowed his head quite a bit and uh, appeared to uh, be a little bit upset. Uh, perhaps. It appeared that way. After 1 a.m., there's nothing planned until about 5. He'll be offered a final meal of steak and eggs at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, we'll be picking up witnesses here at this location at 5.30 to take over. Uh, for viewing the execution, of course. At 5.30 or thereabouts, uh, they'll shave inmate Bundy's head and lower right leg. He'll be showered, dressed in uh, dark blue trousers, a white shirt, and will be let in for execution at 7 a.m. Will they shave the entire hair or the head? They shave the entire uh, hair area of the head. Not that I'm aware. Any family Lower right leg. There are no plans for family visits at this time. Bob, as you said, whether it was to be a funeral home in Gainesville is handling those arrangements. I can't tell you what's been decided beyond that. Uh, I don't know.
during all of this, has he ever said he's sorry or why he killed all these people? Uh, that's not something I can comment on at this time. Bob, I, I know you can't talk about what he might have told investigators, but can you, did he meet with any investigators in Colorado or anyone else? There were several investigators in the building today, but as to, as to how far their uh, attempts at meetings went, I can't really tell you. What about the meetings with the psychiatrist today? I can't comment on that either. I don't know what the uh, express purpose of that was, as a matter of fact. Uh, there really won't be any more updates here this evening unless there should be a, a change uh, in the status of the whole situation. 5.30 tomorrow morning, I will have some new information for you. That's the uh, really... Uh, it did not appear to me to be that. Is he pretty much resigned himself that this is the end? It appeared that way to me, yes. It appeared what? It appeared that... Uh, he was accepting the finality of the situation. That's about all I have to say here tonight. Bob, can we, can we talk you into coming out one more time tonight? Perhaps at 10 o'clock before the late show, just, just in case there is anything. If there's anything new, I will be back uh, around that time frame. Absolutely. It's my understanding that there are three on standby in case they're needed, but there's no... Are they reviewing records? I can't tell you that. I don't know. They're, they're on standby at this point. Or are they in Lake Park? Uh, they're just on standby. That's all I can tell you. And there after uh, one o'clock. No, no visits after one. Will he have any relatives or friends in among the witnesses? Uh, I don't know. I have not seen the official witness list for tomorrow morning. Relatives would not be permitted. When will we okay. be able to see the official witness list, Bob, tomorrow morning? Yes, we'll make that a... Is that Utah or here? That was here. That's the, the only one I'm familiar with, to when be honest. Uh, 1984. We'll be out. I'll be out again at uh, about five with some updates. I want to try and see if there's a, a firmer schedule for visitation this evening. If we do get something on that, we'll definitely add that along with a, a, probably a better printed form of uh, what's transpired over the weekend. Do you know the latest possible date that uh, Justice Kennedy can act? Again, I, I, we keep getting questions on the uh, uh, appeals process and this sort of thing. It's not something that my office handles, and I really can't answer any of those for you. Whose idea? Did he, requ did he request, Bob, did, did he request to do this Dobson interview? Yes, he did. That was strictly of his own volition. And he came to us with a request for Dobbs. Why? Did he say? He did not say why. How many people strap him down? Uh, he'll be escorted in by three officers, and uh, those three plus additionals uh, are available for it depending on the uh, uh, situation. Will Usually he, just three. Will he be shackled until he gets to the chair? They have a manacle that's placed on each wrist so they can uh, uh, prevent him from attempting to break away. He no, there's, no, there's no leg.